potholes, the bane of every driver's existence. We've all experienced the frustration of hitting one and the damage it can cause to our vehicles. But what happens when a single pothole turns into two weeks of anger and frustration? Well, that's exactly what happened to James Foxall, and he's here to share his story. James was driving his BMW i5, cruising along at 40 miles per hour, when he spotted a pothole up ahead. He had to make a split-second decision, go left and hit another pothole or go right and risk the oncoming lane. He chose to go right, but it was too late. The impact was jarring, and the car's tire pressure immediately dropped. James had no choice but to pull over and assess the damage. To his dismay, the tire was completely flat, with a sizable gash in the sidewall. James attempted a temporary fix with the sealant foam provided in the car, but it was no use. He had to call for assistance. Luckily, BMW's contractor arrived promptly and loaded the car onto a truck. But James soon learned that he was not alone in his pothole predicament. The contractor revealed that on average, four of his nightly rescues were pothole-related. James decided to report the pothole to the local highways authority, but the process of claiming compensation proved to be a daunting task. The authorities warned of their defense under the Highways Act, and every step of the claim process seemed to come with a warning that it may not be successful. Frustrated, James decided not to pursue the claim. Days turned into weeks, and the pothole remained unfixed. James returned to the scene with a tape measure and discovered that it was not just any pothole, it was a classic sniper. It measured a staggering 1,400 millimeters in length and had a depth of 180 millimeters, reporting it was easy, but the response from the authorities left much to be desired. They claimed repairs would be done within a certain time frame, but the reality proved to be quite different. The pothole continued to pose a threat to drivers, and James couldn't help but feel let down by the authorities' lack of action. Finally, after two weeks, the pothole was filled in, but it was a shoddy job, to say the least. James likened it to the kind of workmanship you'd see on a TV show like Rogue Traders. It's only a matter of time before it opens up again and causes more damage. James' story is just one example of the frustration and inconvenience caused by potholes. It's a problem that affects drivers all over the country, and it's clear that something needs to be done. So the next time you encounter a pothole, remember James' story and the two weeks of anger and frustration he endured. And maybe, just maybe, we can all come together and demand better roads for everyone. Remember to like and subscribe for more automotive news, and let us know in the comments if you've had any pothole horror stories of your own. Until next time, drive safe and watch out for those potholes.